morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your condos will pay the bills. But you gotta be quick to get those fills. Follow your plan to keep your pockets thick. If that market gaps up, look for Uncle Rick. Small gap down means it's time for a duck. But if it doesn't set up, then we don't give up. Good morning, everybody. We know why we came here today. Now let's get to it. Yeah. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream, April 1st, 2024. Hope everybody had a good Easter. The S&Ps were up over 20 at one point last night, only up one. NASDAQ up 18, Russell up three, Dow down 48, gold up almost 2%, silver up over 2%, notes and bonds coming down, 10-year yield up over 1.3%, oil pretty flat, slightly green, natty gas up 3.5%, soybeans green, wheat red, corn red, euro in the pound red, Bitcoin down 1.5%. VIX at 13.74. So my plan for this morning, my Monday AM ratio. Uh, in my challenge portfolio, I'll be doing the <clears throat> re-entries as well as the one DTE. I will also be doing the NDX a little bit later this morning, my 945 ratio, sprinkle in some discretionary price action iron condors. If they set up my quiet midday tranches, potentially PM tranches, and then power hour. <clears throat> Hopefully the bots are firing on all cylinders this morning. Seems like it's been on a Monday a couple times where they've had issues. So be watching it closely. I'll be ready to fire them off manually if uh, some if there's an issue with the bots. Good morning, Krish. How was everyone's Easter? Yes, it's very thrilling, Mauro. Very thrilling. Uh, also, I'm going to be putting on a 3-4 DTE double calendar this morning. about 15 minutes after the bell. Uh, we've also got ISM manufacturing PMI that comes out 30 minutes after the bell. And we've got uh, the FOMC member is not till a uh, few hours after the market's closed. So no issue there. Tomorrow morning, 30 minutes after the bell jolts. And then we've got uh, several of our friendly neighborhood FOMC members speaking tomorrow. Wednesday pre-market ADP non-farm role, uh, non-farm, ADP non-farm employment change. Uh, ISM services and Powell speaks at 11, 10 a.m. along with a couple other Fed, Fed heads. Thursday unemployment claims pre-market and some more Fed speak. Friday employment data pre-market and some more Fed speak. Lots of our little friends speaking around the neighborhood. 
Looks like the expected move is going to be about 16.9 in SPX. Sassy Blue Angel. Sassy Blue Angel. Did I say that right? Welcome, welcome. So you're going to see everything that I do in the trade plans channel. I post my trade plan with all the backtest links, all the criteria of exactly what I do. So you'll know, you would know ahead of time exactly what strikes will be selected, all that stuff. The idea is to use to check out my trade plan as well as some others and, and you know, eventually build out your own trade plan. Uh, I've been using Trade Steward automated because it connects to Toss to uh, to to manage my trades, but you don't have to start that way. In fact, I would suggest not starting with bots. I would suggest starting trading them manually and then. Um, if you decide you want to automate it, go from there. Okay. looks like the old bots are firing AM ratio, iron condor, 5265 calls, 5245 puts, the shorts that that one came in on. Next up, my re-entries are coming in. NDX coming in. So my one-to-one -one took the 5250 puts, 5260 calls, so that's 40 wide. Excuse me. No, 5250, 5260, 10 wide. And my 3 2 is on the 4565s. And my 1 DTE is on the 4070s. All right. So all bots fired. So let me do a quick recap here of what I've got on. So I've got my NDX trade, which is on the 18200s and the 18340s. I've got my AM ratio Monday trade on the 5245, 5265s. And then in my challenge portfolio, I've got the, on my one-to-one -one is on the 5250s, 5260s. And on my 3-2, I'm on the 5245s, 5265s, same as my AM ratio in the other account. And then on my 1 DTE, I'm on the 5240s, 5270s. Uh, the 3-2s are already up 10%. Some little decay coming in there. Let's see, that'd be... He's here. Yeah, quick little decay coming in on those three twos. So far, set up my um, expected move here. Was it about 16.9 at the open? So the upper expected move in SPX is about 5274 and change. Downside expected move about 5241. It's 
SPX bouncing a little bit at the open. Russell getting weaker. Dow still red. Uh, Tradier's connection to Trade Stewart is not ready yet. Reinhard. Uh, my rut bot just fired. What is the deal with rut here where they've got two zero DTEs, but is that an AM ex expiration? Huh. Anyway, my rut hedge just fired. I did not expect it to. I don't know if those are, it doesn't say AM expirations. It says zero DTE on the uh, expirations, but it says April 2nd. So I don't know what those, I don't know what that option chain is. To be honest, it's got the same liquidity as normal. Anyway, I'll come back and figure that out. Um, Cody, can you show you what, what you entered on the one to one on premium? My one to one, I got it for ten fifty five on the fifty sixties, fifty puts, sixty calls, uh, credit of ten fifty five. So my NDX, NDX is already out of range. What is going on here? NASDAQ is really pushing. I didn't see what NASDAQ's, uh, Expected move was for today. Did anybody catch that at the open? It's currently at about 83 and a half. Let's just say it was around 85. eighty-eight point nine. Thanks. Thank you, Michael Todd. Okay. So, yeah, the NASDAQ has already pushed through its upside expected move for the day. Let's see what's driving that. MUSMCI. All the main chip culprits, it looks like. Google, AMD, NVIDIA. Yeah, well, a lot of the big chip boys are flying this morning. SMH up 2%. Leading the way. Regional banks down, so Russell's down. NASDAQ the strongest, Russell is the weakest. Is 
did not even, uh, I actually got a little bit of a late start this morning, so I actually haven't even scanned through my futures on uh, Friday when the market was closed. Did the, uh, kind of did a walkthrough of how I do the, how my, how I do my day trading on my futures. So Dow pushed above, made a new all-time high, and then is dropping. Dow has been fairly weak compared to the other indices. Come back to that. I may, I may consider a short in Dow. Notes and bonds are falling. 10-year yield up almost 2%. I, uh, this, this inflation thing is not dead. My friends, it is not dead. No matter what Jay Powell tries to tell you. So here's, so six E is interesting as well. As I talked about, this is kind of a, you know, it's been in a downtrend retraced yesterday's bar, the previous day's bar. Now it's coming back down, looking for some momentum to the downside. I'm going to take a short in a, in the euro. Trade of eight. Six E. Six E M. All right, so here's what I do. So I'm not I'm just I'm basing this off the daily chart. So I'm just gonna get short the euro. So I'm short a couple contracts. Now I want to put my like if it goes back above the high of today, I would just get out. So that's that's my exit point. If if that happens, I'm just I was wrong. So I would get out. So the high of today is 1.0833 1. 1.0833 Yeah, so right here. So if it goes there, I'm out. So now I can see on my platform the thing is one kind of easy thing I like about Trade of Aid. It's so my risk is 575 bucks on the two contracts. So this is so I do this sometimes because you know all these different futures have different denominations, and so you never quite know, you know, before doing the math beforehand. So sometimes I just put on a couple contracts and I'll come back and I'll just add a couple more. So now I'm close to that thousand dollars of risk that I like to put on with these trades. And then what I'll do. Now, if I'm trading the S&P or NASDAQ or gold or some of these others, then I know what the dot, I, I can calculate that pretty quick. But on something like the euro that I don't, A, I don't trade as much and B, it uses five decimal points. You know, that's something that I just kind of ballpark to start and then figure figure it out the easy way and then i will uh i'll just place so i'm in for four lots so i'll, I'll place one profit target um <clears throat> let's just put it at like right around a thousand bucks and then that way if that one hits my platform will go off giving me a uh notification that I got to fill and then I'll come back and check this if I haven't looked at it already. And then I'm going to delete. I'll delete a couple of these profit targets because if this thing really rips to the downside, I don't want to, I don't want it to take me out. All right. So that's it on that.
like the Dow short here too. Let's see if the Dow bounces first. SPX still going up. NASDAQ still going up. Russell and the Dow are red. All right, so I'm going to put on a 3-4 uh, DTE double calendar. Let me get filled on my three, four. There we go. All right, just posted my three, four in the calendar channel. All right, so SPX, a couple of little green bars, a little bit of a pullback. We, uh, let's see, did we hit a new all-time high? No, we did not. All-time high, 5264.85. We did not quite get a new one today. Let's see if it's going to uh, hold off on a new all-time high. Doubtful. I would say doubtful. NDX is a little bit below its all-time high from last week, 3-2 ratios are up about 17% already. Getting some good decay there. My 1-to-1 is up about 5, 5.5%. Five My 1-DTE is up about 5%. NDX is out of range. NDX needs a pullback. Mm 
Gold rocking this morning, hitting the all-time high. It's pulled back now. It was up almost 2%. Uh, Mara, was that question for me? What's the 50 Delta one? What's that question on my calendar? Maybe it's not, a, it's not 50 Delta. It's a it's like 25 Delta calls, 15 Delta, excuse me, 25 Delta calls, 15 Delta puts. Let's see what you got, Mauro. Oh, looks pretty steady, Eddie. 50 Delta, 3-4 DTE, open at the open on Mondays. Profit target, 23%. Does it perform going back further? Still good. See the most of the, most of these come off on the first. No. Most of these, it looks like a lot of them are held till Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday. I kind of thought maybe they, a lot of these would hit same day on Monday, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, in fact, they very rarely do on Monday. Interesting. All right, dig it a little bit deeper in that. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate it. White Tiger coming through with the quick math. By the way, White Tiger uh, shared his trade plan that I shared in the trade plans channel. Thank you for that, White Tiger. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. I've got a couple of... Let's see, non-zero DTE related. I've got a couple of time flies on. April 12, 15. Toss still hasn't fixed the risk graph, so these are actually, this is actually down, not up. Got a couple of hedgehogs in ES. Hmm. 
This one is down a little bit. This one is down a little bit as well. We also got one in the NASDAQ. That one is up a tiny bit. So I got some short premium in MES. This one with uh, 81 DTE. Rolled the puts up once on that one. Then this last one that I'm trying to get closed out of my challenge portfolio. Rolled the puts up on this one as well. This one's got 46. So by next week at the latest, I'll close this. Or if we get a down move, might get close to profit target. So my one-to-one, -one, could use a little pullback. My three-two sitting pretty. My one DTE is up about 7%. Doing fine. Um, I don't know what that is, uh, Sassy Blue Angel. If you go to the Trade Plans channel and you scroll up like three posts from, so March 29, that's my trade plan. I've got a video and I've got my uh, strategy sheet. Um, so it's in, that looks like a, Maybe Dick K's challenge or uh, calendars. It's in this one here. Yeah, it's my it's my post from the uh, from March 29th. That's my that would be my April plan. What's uh what's your what's your story, Sassy Blue Angel? Are you uh, what kind of Options trading experience do you have? How long you been trading? Fun fact about yourself. What's your sign? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Anybody else new here as well? Feel free. This is these live streams are for you all to answer questions. Ask questions. Hopefully we can answer the questions. Trade SPX and ES mostly. Trading options for five years. Want to be more consistent. Cool. You've come to the right place, my friend. You have come to the right place. Just, just keep in mind that, you know, obviously over the years, we've built up a pretty big content library, right? We've got a lot of content. So when you first jump in, it's going to seem really overwhelming. But just, you know, take it one step at a time. We've got a a lot of really good traders in here. You'll you'll see in the trade plans channel that you know some of our experienced traders have posted their trade plans as well. There's a ton of good stuff in there, um, but it's all but it also can be overwhelming. You know, as you're trying to build your trade plan and figure out what's best for you and your account size and your experience level and your risk tolerance. You know, every everybody's different. So the idea is to take in you know what a lot of other people are doing that are having success with and then decide how you want to do it. Uh, John K, don't worry about what other people's account size are. 
it doesn't matter. Uh, you can do you can do plenty with thirty to forty thousand dollars account. Remember, if you're doing if you're doing let's say you're doing a fifty wide iron condor, that'll that'll take about five thousand um, dollars per contract. Okay, so whether you have a thirty thousand dollar account or a three hundred thousand dollar account or a three million dollar account, you know it's just it's just adding number of contracts. So don't don't get caught up on, you know the other thing you'll see is people posting some massive gains on a daily, you know, on some days that, that you'll be like, well, you know, gosh, that, that I can't do that because my account's not that big. Don't worry about it. Like that, that's not the, that's not the point. The point is we all start at a different place. And so, you know, you just, you just got to figure out the strategies and um, you know, maybe you can't do as many strategies as somebody who's got a bigger account, but who cares? Right. I mean, we all, we all started with smaller accounts, mostly. Um, I did, for sure. So, you know, just, I would say, starting out, I would say, just go through, you know, you need to get Option Omega. You know, that would be one thing. And, and if, if you haven't seen in the Zero DTE Resources channel, Right there, that there's a uh, there's a checklist, a new member checklist for zero DTE. Okay, so you got OO. So you know you can you can look at my trade plan sheet, and I've got the option omega links for everything. So as you're going through those different strategies that I trade, you know some some of them are designed for beginning of the day, some of them are designed for power hour, end of day, some are designed for midday. So as you're just as you're going through those, you know you'll you'll see the wing widths and all the, you know, the way that I structure each trade and, and you can go through the trade log and it gives you an idea of kind of what the buying power requirement is. Now you just, you obviously need to change the trade size number of contracts on there to, to replicate what you, what you're looking to do, but it'll, it'll give you a, a ballpark idea of what the buying power requirement is. And maybe you have to narrow your wings a little bit, or maybe you need to change the structure. Um, you know, the idea is not to, to copy what, what we're doing is just, it's just to give you an idea of what we're doing, what works for us. And then you can kind of mold that into what works best for you. Uh, all right. So my, look at this, <laughs> my Euro, my Euro is paying. Look at that drop. So I, you know, this is a perfect reason I did what I did. I put, I, I sold four contracts, but one hit. And so I just got notified because my broker says profit target hit or something like that. And so now I can come back here and see what's going on. And my other profit targets are, are far away because I didn't want to have them take, take me out if we did have a big drop. So I'll move that one up a little bit. Now, now if we get a little bounce, I'll, uh, I may add back in here. In fact, I'm going to sell some more if we get up, if we retrace that bar a little bit. Yeah, SPX having a little pullback. Uh, sassy blue angel. No, they, that, that's why we live stream, you know, so I can show you what we're doing live, but there's, I'm not, I'm not posting the trades in a channel. I don't, you know, th what I, the problem, the problem is that I see is people try to try to copy the trades instead of actually learning to trade. There's no value in that. So we, we stream live for day trading and zero DTE to show you what we're doing live. Uh, but we don't we don't post the trades. The other the other strategies like calendars and you know option selling and some of those others longer duration trade we we post the trades because that's a little bit different. SPX coming down, SPX going red. No, you can't do that, Chris. Not yet. 
The request has been made, though. That'll come with, uh, you know, once the brokers are connected that he wants to finish the, uh, that's definitely one of the high priority items is to do kind of a ratchet down stop. So if it hits a certain profit target, stop reduces, or, you know, you can set up different things like that, but not available yet. Got stopped for a profit. You must, you must have a tight stop. Okay. Mine never got to 30%, I guess. Unless I just didn't see it, but I've got it on my other monitor. I, I saw it get up to around 20, but cool. Well, so you're re-entering. Reload. So let's see on my three four DTE. Take that off Thursday morning or start scaling out at twenty percent. Oh, thanks, Fish. I was going to be contacting them after we get off here. Yeah, I thought that was odd. I mean, I didn't think there's AM options except for the, the monthly expiration, so I thought that was odd. All right, well, that's good to know. Appreciate that. All right, all. Any other questions, comments, topics before we jump off here? We'll be back for power hour today. My 3-2 is getting close to 30% now. Maybe I did. Maybe I did miss it. But it's still at 28% even after this bounce. I don't know if mine got there. Getting close, though. All right, all. You all have a good one? Yeah, I, I, looked, at, I looked at all the futures, Anil. Euro. Oh, I did not get short Dow. Dow, I should have. Well, it hasn't moved too much. Uh, yeah, so I just took the euro. I know notes and bonds are moving, but it's already kind of too late for me. All right, all. Take care. Have a good day. See you in power hour.